Morning Virgo, wherever you're at, it's my morning. So this is Brandy from Brandy's Tori and I Tarot. And first we're gonna dive into uh, maybe goals, obstacles for your finances. Just some general message, right? Then we'll look at what you need to know in an actual obstacle and we'll go into some love because I don't like just doing love. Uh, I do pull for everyone and not everyone is just looking for like love. Everything is coincides though. Okay, so if you're feeling good in your own life, guess what happens? Everything else falls into place, right? So don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe wherever I place it. I'm not sure. Even if I do, um, subscribe. How about that one? We just keep it simple. Subscribe down there, please. Do I have these in the All right, so first let's find out what's going on in your general life for like goals blockages Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus this is for the beginning of December folks so first we have the page of swords maybe gathering more information before you step into uh, a new job or something that you're really wanting to do I do not know what fell let me grab it <laughs> <sighs> Like my nails never want to. The hermit, okay? Showing up in your own reading, my friend. So, yeah, you're definitely trying to go into, like, seclusion so you can learn something new. Um, or you could have received a message which has put you into, Jesus, <laughs> into, like, a hermit mode. So, King of Cups stayed in my lap. It's trying to control emotions, uh, creation. You know, major, major creation here. Um, let's get more before I keep talking. Give me more for Virgo, please. Knight of Cups. Okay. Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Like I said, it's general, but everything is intertwined. You put it wherever you want, okay? Everything doesn't shoehorn for everyone. You want something more personal? Go below. All right. So it's like you can see where you want to be, but you're not seeing the steps needing to be taken. Right? Everything's foggy. How do I get there? That's why you're trying to learn a little more about it. You're feeling a little conflicted, though, like... What do I do? You're trying to find like this inner peace, this inner knowledge, or you really are searching. You're searching for an answer, but it's causing a lot of conflict with the five of wands. Five of wands is action, like not knowing which way to take. But you're holding on like a, to a um, normal way that you always did things. Maybe you're needing to open your eyes in a different manner to accomplish this goal or this project, okay? Because it is going, you know, it is profitable. Whatever you're doing, I mean, that's, um, you're just having to put the work in, okay? You're, you're like kind of having to do the work no matter what the chaos is going on around you because uh, the King of Cups has a lot of waves in behind him and he's trying to keep control of himself but you are needing to put the work in with the page of points. You have to plant seeds, you have to tend to the trees and then you can pick the fruit but when you pick the fruit you have to bring it back you know and then like harvest it. That's what she's doing. So even amongst the chaos in your life that is pretty much your advice and what you need to do and not hang on to the old ways. All right. You are being a little defensive though about like the old ways, but truth will come to you. If it doesn't, guess what? You're going to be poverty stricken. You need to kind of not hang on to that. All right. All right. Now that was general. I'm going to get what you need to know and maybe an obstacle to overcome and then we'll go into love. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Funny, that was in the pre-shuffle. This one. Going beyond normal. 
totally Virgo card, right? So there is like a light above her head in gold. That is divine protection. That is creation. There is a time clock on her head. And she's holding the key in her mouth. It's like everything is, is clockwork. Someone may have some OCD too. I'm just going to put that out there. Everything is evenly placed here. I will read this from the book. Wrong book. Mm. And we'll dive a little more into what it is that you're needing to know. How funny it went straight to it. <laughs> okay. On the path of li on the path of life, there are deciding moments where we can choose to go with the mainstream, or we can dare to take a bolder, more authentic, and trusting way, even if it seems riskier or less safe. To rely solely on logic and science without incorporating the mysterious and magical is a recipe for an existence that is far too dry. The sacred rebel within our hearts will always choose a juicier approach to life. You are currently approaching such a choice point. You could say that the choice is about balance. It is less about choosing to honor either art or science, gardening or architecture, and more about integrating all approaches that so you can enhance rather than hinder your life journey. Pretty much just backed up my entire reading. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a time and place for logic, strategy, and planning. Measurable outcomes. These are not bad tools to have, but we must be vigilant not to worship them or allow them to quash our less rational but equally valuable decision-making tools. Intuition, feelings, and those things you know without knowing how you know them. The flowing inspirational energy of the heart may have no conceivable basis in logic or reason and still be un uncannily accurate. To remain rebellious, we must not sacrifice the art of emotion, instinct, passion, and intuition for the science of logic and strict planning. That's the King of Cups, right? All right. You're being asked to stay open to the intuitive approach in your life, your work, your creativity, as well as in your spiritual journey. The intuitive approach can be likened to the method of a gardener or an artist. There's a sense of what might work where a loose or even detailed plan, but how the plan is carried will depend on and respond to the flow of its surroundings. There is no need to control the situation, but rather a desire to nurture an idea into fruition. So, that's what you're needing to overcome. Like I said, don't hang on. You're you're definitely trying to like figure this out here, and the Page of Swords is like trying to use logic, but I say incorporate all this. The Hermit. And page two and the King of Cups just up on top. That is exactly what the reading was about. Was like intuition, creativity, and logic, everything, and not to hang on to it. So now we're gonna dive into uh, maybe some love relationship. Give me some energy, please, for Virgo and love and relationships. What is going on? We have the King of Earth, could be representing you, could be another Earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. We have Justice, which is Libra. We have the Two of Cups. That's the first line. And then we have the Hangman, Pisces. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Major, major here, with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay, so definitely, definitely, um, could be getting married, could be contemplating marriage, I don't know, could be already married with the Justice card in the middle, and the Hierophant at the bottom. There is a sacrifice in this relationship that's being made. I think it does have to do with an old marriage of you releasing uh, the ties to this person that was once a soul union. <sighs> Feeling weathered, a little worried about financial security. It's telling me to tell you, don't worry, everything will eventually balance out. But someone needs to sign some papers. Someone needs to sign some papers. Someone needs to finish this off. 
okay? Uh, because it's just causing more. You need to let this hurt go, okay? Yes, there are some sacrifices that are needed to be made. So someone is definitely dealing with either a Pisces, a Libra, or a Taurus. All right, what else for Virgo, please? How many cards this fell out? The Eight of Swords. That is mental interference, outer interference. Someone could be coming in between stopping that with the star, Aquarius. We have quite a few major arcanas in this tiny little spread. Someone is causing interference into the healing of this uh, this balance that's trying to be created here. Um, <laughs> oh my, oh my. So this is Cancer, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. So those are the major players on the board here. Success, movement, you know, someone... Um, Someone withheld some things, but no worries. Healing is on the way, balance is on the way to whatever relationship process this is going. Um, there is going to be a lot of internal work here. Like I said, I keep hearing someone is trying to interfere with this um, union. And someone else is signing divorce papers, for sure. But... Someone is trying to intervene into this union and not to worry, you're going to knock that out. You're going to knock that out because the universe is kind of backing you. There is gold around her head again. And it's going to be a very successful, uh, successful union. Okay, but there will be sacrifices that need to be made and you will have to heal from that. Yeah, decision time, the lovers. So you have to choose. Someone's getting left behind here. You have to choose um, a partner, the one that fuels your heart, the one that fuels your desire, okay? I think that's where the hermit kind of plays into this too, is... You're having a real choice that you need to make. You're kind of juggling about the lovers. Okay, because this is a love situation, especially with the two of cups there. But there's success around whatever choice that you're going to make. I just keep someone signing some papers. There is going to be someone that is left out. Like, they feel like they worked on this so much, it just didn't, never panned out. And that's, you can love someone. These can be vice versa, too. You can love someone, but they're just not in love with you anymore, okay? You just got to realize when to kind of release and choose what's good for your heart. There's a real divine connection here, though. So whatever you feel in your heart is best for you is what you're needing to do. Shit. Ah, because someone was sneaky, someone lied. Could be you, could be them. Again, though, with that card, I'm seeing a lot of paperwork, a lot of um, sneakiness. Someone could be trying to give a false out of the two, a false um, cup of love. Right? So you really need to discern, like, this is true, and you will be successful with these six of wands. That is movement forward, victory. You have a lot of victory cards here after you make that choice. After you use a lot of like inner discernment of who is good for you and who is not. That is mental clarity, that is Leo, that is Sun. And the Ten of Cups. Damn. I really don't like to get false readings on like love. Not everyone gets to win in the end, okay? But this <laughs> that my friend is self love, self care, self fulfillment, and victory. Illumination. Illumination, right? Mm. That is emotional fulfillment. That is clarity, love, happiness, and victory. Success. You will discern between these two people because I keep getting twos. You'll discern who actually deserves your love, right? It's not going to be the fast, fleeting person who comes in and in and out of your life. That's not how this works. 
Those people aren't stable. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Those people aren't stable. Uh, you want the person who, like, provides you the love, the care, the emotional fulfillment, the little things. Like, hey, babe, you want a cup of coffee? I would love one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> let's get a uh, postcard. I think that name always like slips on a spiritual postcard for you to see if they have saved us this entire reading, usually back to me. All right, what's staying in my hand? Oh, this one goes out to my cousin, too. You need to start listening to me. Mm-mm-mm. She's a Virgo. <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> Since you're on Earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes. A good, solid foundation. Mm. And yet, flexibility, too, in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it's built from a solid base. Whether it be an idea that takes from one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug. I'm going to stop right here. What did I just say? I rest my case. I'm going to move on. Poured and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see if this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly. As well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. This is you discerning real foundation opposed to fake foundation. Someone's offering you something false and you are going to make that choice and you're going to realize that. And that goes in your love and your goals too. Okay? Really going within yourself and letting go of like the old ways, your old routines of how you did stuff, how you chose people. Okay? Um, you, <laughs> you're really needing to see past your past routines and learn how to discern between these options okay i'm gonna leave it at that my love virgo love you uh hit subscribe comment let me know what's going on and i'll catch you on the flip